Jeez. Kojima's sleeping. You should leave him alone. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Monica was still watching TV. Okay, that was a shorter part than most. So, next time on Persona 4, we're going to start another day of school and try out this midnight channel, whatever the hell it is. So, if you like the video, leave a comment, rate, subscribe, check out the other videos. You know what that'll be it. I'll see you guys later. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome here, here last time on Persona 4. Well, we made a new friend. We made we met Yosuke and we went to Juness for once. Japanese Walmart. <laughs> anyway, we're going to try out this midnight channel. Chie told us about. It's a horrible idea. It's so stupid. But me and Yosuke decided to try it out anyway. So let's go to our room. It's raining tonight. You made a promise to try out the rumor about the midnight channel. Turn to your room and watch the midnight channel. Ko. You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true? That's gotta hurt. Are you okay? Did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. Oh, it's gotta hurt. Sadako so seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? Decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. The TV decided to nom my head off, but I couldn't let him do that. Not could I? Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sufoy. And I don't know how much you know about world of history, but I'm an expert. First, a little bit about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, but there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ho ho. This is my first lecture. I'll start with an easy question. Our chancery, Mr. Rendon, please stand up. For the real Slim Shady, please stand up. When did AD, in other words, Anno Domini, begin? 
What do I think about AAD? People keep saying it's after death, but it's not. It's Agno Domini, the year of our Lord. That's what it means. When Jesus was born. This is an easy, an easy question. You should get it right. Ah, you seem to understand this well. And does does anyone know what BC stands for? Oh, I'll just tell you. Before Christ, or the years before Christ was born. This, of course, the way we count our years is the way we count our years today. It wasn't adopted in Western Europe until the 15th century. Oh, it was around at that time. There, there were many religious wars and power shifts occurring. Anywho. The world beliefs have been in ever-flowing ties as humanity began to emphasize religion. Most holidays are related to religion, you know. If you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, I don't think St. Patrick's Day, maybe. Um, Easter, Lent, Ash Wednesday, Good Sunday, Good Friday. It's just some, but Good Sunday and Good Friday aren't really holidays per se. But regardless of the culture or tradition, the tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. And those survivors ensure their will is passed down to the next generation. But now it's time to start from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of civilization. You give the correct answer. By giving the correct answer, your knowledge will increase. So, two free bits of knowledge. Right off the bat. Along with the courage. But the courage was optional. If you had to... You know, sometimes... You, Depending on what you say, you will get some results. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Saki? Y yo. Um. Looks like my guess was right. It was Saki. What's wrong, Yosuke? It's, uh, it's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumors? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today, either. Really? Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. I wonder what's going on. I hope she's okay. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're Seems learning really her it. <gasps> By the way! Did you see it last night? You mean the Midnight Channel? I totally did! Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? You're a lesbian. I couldn't quite tell who no, it not was, really. I'm just but kidding. it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. But she was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean... we have the same soulmate? Hey, I saw her too, so something's How wrong with this. How about you? Did you see it? Yeah. And my TV tried to gnaw my head off last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. Well, if it had been bigger... Yeah. She said. Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Surprising that this game actually talks like modern talk. And talk about major trends. Well, at that time. 
Want to go check them out? Now the it's back? HDTVs. We're up our electronics department this month. But overall, flat screens are trending because oh, they're light. My parents don't supposedly. know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What the? Don't ever do that again. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> <sighs> They don't believe you at all. Maybe I'll shut them up when I go there. <laughs> A snicker, snicker, snicker. Wow, this is huge! And holy That's what she said. It's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Should be. Ah. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. I beg to differ. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what was saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. Ah, oh, I love his voice actor. Fun fact about Yosuke, his voice actor is Yuri Lowenthal. The voice actor that we all know as for Sasuke from Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Also the voice actor of Suzaku Kurugi from Code Geass. And this guy's primarily... He's voice acted a lot of animes. And a lot of video games, but... I won't talk about much about him, because he's a pretty famous one. There are a couple of other surprising people here, too. But... So an interesting thing, Yuri Lowenthal, I think he actually studied for, in Japan. So he, he's got this uh, the Japanese thing pretty well done. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! Is it over 9,000? cheap right off the bat. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. For a TV? No. For a candy bar or something like that? Hey, maybe. But not a TV. It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... Well, let me prove those guys wrong. With a TV this big, you might really be able to go inside. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God! The TV's eating me in your face. It's it's gnawing my hand right now, and you called me a liar, you non-believer. Huh? Wait. Something wrong, Yusuke? Smash it! Is his arm in the TV? Yes. Whoa. Dude, is this Inception or something? I've never seen the movie, uh, but whatever. Is that some kind of new model, L like with a new function? <laughs> 3D can suck my dick. It's all, this is no. this totally beats it. I'm actually in the TV. You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Hey, check the other side. See if I ended up on the other side of the TV. Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Ironic for Yosuke to say that. You'll understand later, though. Both of them are staring at you, astonished. Might be able to put more than just your arm. Yeah, it's eating my head! Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? I can see everything. Oh my god! Hey look, it's Wheel of Fortune. There's an empty space inside. Oh, did someone turn the TV off? You tell them that. What do you mean, inside? What do you mean, empty space? Well, at least it ain't dead space. 
He's very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Shit. Customers, they're coming. Wabu! We got a guy half stuck in a TV here. What, what are we gonna do? Run in panic and hope something happens. going on here uh... Oh so uh we're still alive right Are you guys okay your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. Of course it is! Oh, how would you know that, Chie? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, what now? I Did wonder... you wet your pants? Oh, God. How stupid. Look around. Look at the floor. Is this a, a studio? Are we on TV? Oh, this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. Shouldn't be. This place is huge. Look at the floor. What are we gonna do? I wanna look around. Huh? But but Look, we need to get home and Huh? Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? Up there. I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? We're doomed, no. Let's calm down. We need to calm down before we can do anything. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. You don't sound calm at all. Alright. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? There should be. We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Well, that's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Looks like an apartment looks area like or some something kind of like that. Building, but damn, this looks so thick I can hardly see. It looks like there's other buildings outside. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but you gotta trust our instinct a little. Trust your gut instinct, dude. We'll I make know, it out okay. Even there's no choice for now but to continue forward. Hey, Jay, don't get left behind now. Especially when you can't see, apparently. Hmm, nice room. 
Looks nice so hey, far. Is it me or is the fog lighter here? Probably because we're indoors and it blocks out the fog. I like that pad. I should lay down and take a nap. No service. What a surprise. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Oh, what? Wait, I don't get it. <gasps> what the? Hey, the room looks fine. I don't know what you're. Whoa! Whoa, oh God! What the hell? Is there it's blood? A end. There's no exit. Hey, hey! This isn't the dark hour, but what's going on? There's blood everywhere. Posters with their faces ripped off. It's getting creepier and creepier the further we go. There's a chair over there. I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. Uh, Kowski, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Sure. Anyways, what's with this room? It's a facade, I'll Check tell you that much. Posters. Your faces are all cut out. It took you that long to notice? Somebody must really hate this person. Who is it? Looks familiar, though. Dude. This chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Yeah, it looks like uh, a scarf up there. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. Yeah, I wanted to take a nap in here, but when I see all this stuff, I don't think I can. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Yeah, it does look familiar. I am sick of this place, and I'm not feeling so good. Yeah. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Yeah, you don't want to get sick like me. Oh, I'm surprised. I haven't had l little congestion moments or moments where I had a cough at all. Either I'm getting better or... I don't know. Whew. We finally made it back here. It's a good thing, isn't Wait, it? what's that? There's something over there. Can't even see it. Oh god, mascot character approaching. What will you do? <laughs> what is this thing? A, a monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? It can talk. <gasps> it talked. Uh, what are you? You you want to fight? No, don't yell at me like that. I don't think it's looking for a fight. Bear is cowering in fear. Maybe you better ask him nicely. Is this a dream? Actually, what are you? I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Other side? Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What gives you the right to yell at that thing like that too, aren't you? What are you? Where are we? What the heck's going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Ah, that 
That's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait, what? Hey, look, more TVs. What the hell? Look retro. Well, where did these TVs come from? Can I keep one? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, wh what are you doing? S stop pushing! Inception. And there's nobody around. Huh? Is this? How coincident. Or how lucky, I guess. Or unlucky. Did we make it back? Apparently. But it was flooded there. Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Huh. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, that's the Inca singer. Hey, you're right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Interesting. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, what is that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling? Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. You've become tired. Don't do anything crazy or else you might get sick. And you catch what I'm referencing, that is. Oh look, now I'm the one late for once. Hey, welcome home. Hey, that's not a ghost job. Still feel sluggish. Um well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. That doesn't sound good. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Amagi? What's Hiko's last name? She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, Heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. News continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was 
apparently staying at the Magi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems that whereabouts Saki Kanishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. Oh, I did not notice that game. Thank you. I feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. Yeah, I may as well. I think I can go for another recording. We're 50 minutes already. And I think I could try another one. Why not? I can give it a shot. Alright, watch this. People who are sick should stay in bed. It's fog today, so you should go to sleep earlier to catch a cold. What are you, my mother? You're a girl, but I don't know. You should go straight to bed tonight. Spring cold can be tough. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so next time on Persona 4. Well, it's not spring, it's winter, but still, winter colds can be just as brutal. Anyway, next time on Persona 4, we are going to go to sleep, because apparently we are sick, and after seeing that TV world, ugh, who knows what might happen tomorrow. If you like the video, leave a comment, re subscribe, check out the other videos. You don't have to be I will see you guys later.